Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today's project is just really to show how important it is or can be to coordinate your papers and your cards and things. But I looked through my paper stash and I was trying to think what I could actually do with something like this as a base and I thought well the way to use it is to go for coordinating papers and accessories if I can possibly do it. So I looked through my stash and I have some of this which is very pretty and it was actually very cheap. It came from a shop which is a Spanish chain called Dom T and they do pads of I think it's something like 12 inch square papers for a couple of euros and they're really nice. So I've cut this one a little bit smaller than the card base and the other things I have here, I found I had some scrap card lying around. Again, because it tends to be something that I cut bits out of rather than doing a whole project, I've got lots of remnants. So I looked in my stash to see what I had, and I had this orange card, which happens to go with this really well. I had this green, it happens to be self-adhesive, um, a self-adhesive card, but I had it in green. So what I've done to coordinate this, because the tone is very similar, so that's fine. It doesn't glare at you or stand out too much. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I've actually put in some gold veining, just with a gold pen, to tie this in. And I have some gold sticky back vinyl, which is, again, going to go nicely. And I have lots of this sort of glitter card. Now you may think when you finish doing a project that you haven't got any use for an odd little strip like this, but in the way of really fancy, glittery, glitzy, or overly bright bits, little bits sometimes are all you need. And I've got my sentiments cut out. Now I cut out two lots of sentiments. I cut out one to show you how it shouldn't be done and cut out one to show you how it should. Um, this one is the one that shouldn't and it's not too bad. The actual cut out isn't too bad but it is a little bit perhaps on the small side when you consider what I wanted to do was put a highlighter down the middle. Now the other thing that I've done with this to show you what a mistake it is, I've done a gold highlight down the middle of this and it basically disappears the orange and the gold just don't work that well together. It doesn't show up that well. So the alternative one, I'll put this to the outside of my hand, which I think is much better, is a slightly larger version and I've put a white highlight down through it. Now if you're wondering which white pen I've used because it is a really good opaque white pen. It is Uniball Signo Broad and basically this one is my go-to white opaque so that's what I used for that. And I've done it in white because I've got white dots on my background, so it does tie in with that. Anyway, the first thing that I need to do is to work out my actual design. And I decided to go for these leaves. And I probably put them on the side like so. Now the other thing I cut out and I have here is a little flower design that I designed. And it's cut out of gold foil. Now this is um, uh, press and seal, which I got my husband to get for me online. And I've got absolutely loads of it now. And I'm using that as a transfer tape, basically. It's not highly sticky and it's not going to leave any remnants on the paper or indeed damage the paper when I pull it off. But I can position my design nicely by using that. And I'm just going to lay it on the top here at the moment. Now this I decided I want to go across there and I'm going to have another bar but in the solid gold underneath and then this one is going to go like that 
and I'm going to have my lettering down here on top of that gold somehow. So I need to position it so that my flower is a bit further down, I think, because I want to have this round about there. So yeah, that's roughly where my flower needs to be. So I'm just going to press this down because as I said, it's a self-adhesive foil. So that's really handy when you want something fairly finely cut if it's already self-adhesive, that's great. And then there we go. And sticking down. If I'll turn that over the other way so that the sticky size on my finger and just polish this to make sure it's well and truly stuck. There we go. So that's quite pretty. And I need to work out now where my leaves need to go. That particular one I think can overlap my flower slightly. So that's one down. Oops. I'm just going to get a pair of scissors and trim off just a little bit of that stem to make sure it doesn't get in the way anywhere. Okay. Now I'm putting my design on my paper first because this tape I actually want to wrap around the paper. And I deliberately have cut more of it than I need because I know then that I can just use the ends to hold it where I want it. And I'm going to use my spots as a guide. There we are. So that's one line done. And then that one I want to go up there. And if I'm really careful, I can lift that leaf up and place it over the top of that. Yeah, that will work quite nicely. Need to leave a bit of a gap there. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to, where's the tape runner? Just gonna put a little bit of tape underneath there. well stuck now. So I'm just going to have to blindly put some tape under there. There we are. So next I want to put that stripe across there. And so I'm just going to use my tape runner and some glue on there. folded over the back because it's not very thick. Need a dab of glue on there. So I'm going to use my tape runner and run some adhesive on the back of this. to line up more or less. There we are. I think that's fine. There we are. And now for the sentiment I have for you. Now I could put it like so or I could put that up above. I think I'm 
might be tempted to put it up above. The only thing that makes me wary of that is because trying to stick it onto the glitter is really, really hard. If I do it there, it will stick onto the plain card and that's fine. But the only thing that tends to stick onto the glitter paper is a hot glue um, or a silicone glue. And as it happens, I've run out of silicone glue. I haven't got any left. So I might be tempted just to put it there. So I'm going to use my acrylic varnish for that. very small amounts of it because you don't want it sliding around and just to use my tweezers to pick it up and This font uh, for the U part of it is Unfortunate Event, I think it is. An Unfortunate Event. It's a fun font, I really do quite like it, and it's also free. And that was a different one. Um, that was just a script font, I can't remember which one it was. So all it needs now is a few little embellishments and the card will be finished. With the addition of a few gems and a strip of gems just here, the card is finished.